Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial on the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at variables. Variables allow you to essentially contain data, store it within themselves and variables have a name which is what you use to identify them. So let's just show you how variables work. I'm just going to go ahead and open up our project. I'm just going to get rid of this line and to declare a variable you use the keyword of the particular data type that you want your variable to be. So if you want an int you would put int then the name of the variable. I'm just going to put i. Bear in mind that it is case sensitive so if you have a variable called i uppercase and a variable called i lowercase they are essentially two different variables. Now you can assign a value to it. You don't actually have to assign a value. You can just simply do um, I like that and then assign a value later on in the code. But generally, it's quite good common practice to generally assign a value. And to manipulate this, you just do I equals wherever. I'm just going to do I equals I plus 10. So it's now, equal, now it's going to equal 15. And I'm just going to see out this, so I'm going to do std, see out, and to see out a variable you literally just put the variable name, it's not like C where you have to do all this percent, I, rubbish and whatnot. It's really nice and clean. And line, now if we just run this, we'll get 15 in the console. We're going to show you, uh, you another variable, a bool. Which is boot, which is a boolean, aka it can be true or false. We're just going to make it false for this part of this tutorial. It's a simple one of two states, true or false. I'm just going to print out b, and now it's printed out zero. You might think about put false one or zero, true or false, yes or no. So if we just put true, it's printed out one. The next one we're going to show you is float x and this is a number but it has decimal points so the integer is a whole number float has decimal points I'm just going to put 4.56 and we're going to put the x in here and now we say 4.56 there's another one called double uh, called double equals the double is like a float where it allows you to use decimal points but it has higher accuracy aka you can have more decimal points so if for some reason you're having issues with float I'm, I'm sure float goes beyond this anyway but if you're having some issue with float then try checking out double but by default just use float even that's been capped there uh, if we the final one I'm going to show you is character and you use the keyword char to declare you're going to do c and this literally just had one character you put these characters here first and then inside here you put well character on the five i'm going to run it but i'm going to put c here first and it's printed out five this isn't the number five this is the character five you've got to make sure you understand that plus we're just going to put um we will put D. Now we'll put capital D. Again, lowercase D and the uppercase D are different. They on they aren't the same. That's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to show you the console in. A few tutorials that we showed you console app, but we're just now going to show you console in now that we know how to use variables. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonosystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for the source code will also be in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day.